What's up, everybody? Comedian Juice here, and today we are hanging out at Boston Scientific. Now, I know some of y'all are like, I know exactly what that is. And some of y'all, like, little buddy in the back, you're like, what is Boston Scientific? You're in Boston? No, Boston Scientific is the global leader in medical technology. And you want to hear something even crazier than that? They've been the global leader for over 35 years with over 45,000 employees worldwide. What? So today we get to kick it with some dope engineers, some dope scientists, and overall dope people to have a dope time. So if you're ready, let's get into it because I'm ready. They gave me a lab coat and everything and I feel smarter already. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so today we're meeting Annie. Annie is a processing engineer right here at Boston Scientific. Basically, she gets paid to play with lasers. Crazy, right? She basically plays with lights that cuts through metals that actually go into the human body. Let's get into it. Let's meet Annie. What's up? Hello. All right, I am excited. You know, I'm a big fan of Star Wars, so I'm excited to play with the lasers and like the thing. It's going to be better. I love it. Ooh, is this for me? This is for you. Safety glasses and we're good to go. Let's do it. Lasers are a special type of light. They're very intense. Yeah. So if we're going to watch a laser, you have to make sure that you protect your eyes. I feel like spy kids. So is it like trimming it down or? Um, so it's rotating underneath yeah. and my laser is on top of it. So as it's rotating and translating, it's cutting a pattern. So imagine like puzzle pieces. This is what we actually cut. So all the way down here, wow, this is our stent. And then you can see up here on the screen under the scope. It's a lot of detail. So imagine this is like a Chinese finger trap. And this is what's opening up your vessels so that you can have blood flow. Yeah. I just want to help people. And if I can do that in engineering and do stuff like this and meet people like you, yeah, then why not? I like to heal people through laughter. You like to heal people through the creating cool devices like this and working with lasers. So is it cool if I keep these? I'm going to have to have those back. Bye. Next up, we get to kick it with Liz. Liz is an engineer right here at Boston Scientific. The cool thing about her job is she gets to play in labs like these, build and test cool things that change people's lives. So I'm excited to meet her. Let's get into it. Yo, what's up, Liz? Hi, Juice. Okay, so what exactly do we have here? Yeah, I'm excited to show you. My team builds systems that yeah. act kind of like the human body so we can test our products. This is actually meant to model a human heart. This is the live camera feed of the valve that's sitting there. All you've got to do is advance this. So just grab it, push. If you look down on this side, you can see that we're out here. Uh -huh. And then at some point you're going to see it on the screen. Two hours later. So just imagine actually having to do this procedure where yeah. you can't, you don't have you a camera, <laughs> you can't see through the model. You can't see through the model. I think it's great that I get paid to just come in and play in the lab. There's a lot of days where things don't go as planned, Yeah. which are the best days because that's where you learn everything that was going wrong for months that you had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Liz, thank you for allowing us to come and work and play in this nice little demonstration. But I'm I'm actually gonna stay here. I told you I'm competitive, so I'm I'm gonna stay here and try to figure this out. Yeah, seems like it's so. gonna take you a while though. So maybe I'm I'm gonna go get lunch. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I'll be here. All right. I'll be, I, I'll All right. be here. Yeah. All right, we're going to be kicking it with Keith and James. Keith is a packaging manager and James is a technical writer. Their job is to make sure that very important medical devices get to their destination safely, effectively, and on time. Speaking of on time, we don't want to keep them waiting. Let's go. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? How are you? Good, how you good. Oh. Come on in. Hi, Juice. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm excited. Color is very important in our industry because that's how they identify the products that they're going to use. Okay. And you've been exposed to this too. You just don't know it. Okay. So for example, when you're in the grocery store, can you tell me which one is the peanut M&Ms? Those ones. How'd you know that? Because it's yellow. Because it's yellow, <laughs> right? So your mind is short circuited to create shortcuts. And one of those is color. It can really save lives because people are in the hospital here. And if a doctor says, I need this, and you know it's the orange one, just 
a quick lance and you got it. And you're handing it to the doctor and the patient is getting it right away. Yeah. So as a kid, I had no idea that package engineering was a thing. But as a kid, I knew that I always wanted to be a leader. I've been loving it. Like I really do enjoy bringing that that science and technology aspect to the people side of things yeah. and helping them reach their goals on, on the products. When I read as a child, it was almost all nonfiction. I wasn't big into novels or poetry. I liked reading books about science and about history because yeah. two of my loves when I was growing up was science and writing. Okay. And to be able to marry both of those is really lucky for me. Well, thank you guys for letting us come and hang out with you for a little bit and learn all the important things about packaging. Keith, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for your time. Thanks for coming yeah, in. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. No, don't worry about me. I'm going to take these M&Ms and then... You know what? I think I'm going to take just the yellow ones. Just the yellow ones. <sighs> See ya! I guess he's taking them. All right, y'all. Y'all still with me? Because I know we got to be process a lot of things. There's been a lot of cool stuff that happens, but it gets better. So today we're meeting Maddie. She's a manufacturing engineer. And guess what? Her job is she works with robots. That's right. I don't even need to explain anything more because we're about to play with some robots. So come on, let's go meet Maddie. I can find her. Hey, you looking for me? Hey, what's going on? We got to go get gowning first and then we can go into the clean room. You lead the way. Right. I'll follow come you. On. I'm suited. All right, let's get in. We're going to go over and look at the robots. This is crazy. Yeah, this is where we make balloon catheters. It's cool to like see how it like operates and moves around. Like you see them in movies, but you ne I've never really seen like robot arms in real life. Yeah, and they definitely can't run without their control system. So they can't, they can't leave the system. Yeah, there's no Terminator type. No, thing. no, no. So in my case, a manufacturing engineer kind of owns a process from the equipment standpoint. So if the machine is down and the technicians can't get it up, you come to the floor and help go through that uh, problem solving roadmap and ask the questions to kind of get it on the right track to get it back up. I guess I've always been very curious and wanting to ask questions and kind of always wanted to have a job that was fun. Yeah. Oftentimes on the floor to help motivate people, you'll hear the production supervisors talk about, what if your grandma got this device? Is this something that you would want to have in a family member? Like realizing that we are impacting people's lives. Right. Appreciate you. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks for coming out to look at it. Yeah. Next up, we're gonna be hanging out with Tasnia. Tasnia is an R&D engineer. So basically she gets to draft and make medical devices for people. And she also gets to take them and introduce them to the people that are eventually gonna use them in the future. And guess what? She even gets to travel sometimes, sometimes around the world. So we're gonna have a little fun. Let's go and meet her. So R&D engineer. What is that exactly? We work on all different parts of the device. Coming up with a design, a prototype, we'll take that design and figure out how we can actually build it. And then at that point, we have other people who are also helping us out. For one of the traits that is especially helpful is creativity. That was definitely one of the things I wanted to be able to incorporate into my future job was how do I get to still be creative, still have fun. What this device is, is it removes thrombus or blood clots from the body. And why you don't want to have a blood clot in your body is that if it becomes loose, you don't want it to travel to another part of the body because then it can block off an organ or get into the heart. I am about to remove a blood clot. And then yeah, you're slowly eating away at it. And then you can see as it's taking out the blood clot, it's also putting in saline solution. There we have it, Juice and Tasnia, tag team blood clot killers. All right, so now we're gonna hang out with Zach. Zach is a scientist here at Boston Scientific, and he gets to work with different solutions to make magic. Okay. Not magic, magic, like scientific magic. Y'all know what I mean. Let's, let's meet Zach. Think of a scientist as somewhat of a detective, someone who isn't afraid of trying to figure out what's wrong and maybe there isn't an answer and they're the one that has to go out and figure out where things are coming from. We're going to be doing a dilution series of rifampin and minocycline. And what they do is act like superheroes that fight off bacteria. Why like that? And it's a good thing that we're wearing lab coats because this is a very concentrated colored solution. Yeah, your concentration and sleight of hand is unmatched. We put these in vials now for the chromatographer to actually analyze the sample. 
So I'll put J for juice on this sample. Got my own sample, people. And that's it. Then we'll put it on the chromatographer and it'll analyze the sample for minocycline or famping. That was dope. As a kid, I used to like snowboarding a lot. And what piqued my curiosity was like how you glide so fast, learning more in depth about the science between different waves of friction between different materials. And my friends kind of saw me as a scientist. They, they would ask me questions and I'd be the one to come up with answers in the group. You made a little scientific magic today. I like yeah, it. Yeah, it was great for you to come out and see what I do. But now I got to get back to my magic. So I'll see you later. Later. Oh, it is magic. That's crazy. Well, we're going to get into our next person. Next, we're meeting Nina. She's a group product manager. So basically, she works with engineers, scientists, patients, pretty much everybody to see the direct impact of the devices. And she works in pain relief, which is Perfect timing because my lower back is killing me from all this walking. I can't wait to meet her. Y'all right? Speaking of, come on in, Nina. Hey, Juice. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. I'm a little, a little tight. Can you kind of explain to us what you do here at Boston Scientific? I work with a team that helps to get pain relief and therapies directly to our patients. What's interesting is I didn't really have any STEM related activities or anything around engineering as a kid. I liked math and I liked kinetics, Legos, all those sorts of things. I learned I could help people while building equipment. I remember being in engineering classes and I was one in 200 females and I didn't want to speak up. Yeah. And I always felt like I had to be the best if I was going to say something. But if you have a question, ask it. If you feel a certain way, raise your hand. And I wish that I had done that sooner. That's awesome. Nina, thank you so much for coming in and, and showing us what you do and come and chat great. with us. Great, it was great to meet with you. So um, you're not gonna make me like disappear or anything, are you? It shouldn't. All right, guys, now we're gonna meet Anna. Anna's a skills training fellow. Basically what she does is she works with human body training models to demonstrate pacemakers. That's right. The robe is on, let's get into it. Yo, yo, what's Hi, up? Hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you as well. I'm excited, so I see you got a lot of patients on the table. Yes, we do. They're pretty quiet, they're, they're really good. The first thing we're gonna be doing is a pacemaker implant. They have these wires that go into the patient's heart that keep the patient's heart rate from going too low. Here's your patient. Mm -hmm. We're in the operating room, okay? Right. This is your monitor where you're gonna see your x-ray, heart rhythm, and heart okay. rate. And then on here is the controls where I can put our Boston Scientific products in the simulation for you to use. We wanna put this lead into the right ventricle. We go and do see it moving. Mm. And you're not gonna hurt anything here. Right. There you go. Oh, wow. Oh. That's exactly what we wanted. There's a tiny little screw. Okay. That's how it fixates into the heart tissue. Pull that stylet out. And you placed your first pacemaker lead. <laughs> I thought I wanted to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. I love the medical field. I loved helping people. Um, and I was really good at math and science. And then I heard about biomedical engineering, mm -hmm. which kind of marries the engineering mind with also my like uh, clinical passion. And I can see how what I do trickles down into, yeah. into helping patients. That's amazing. Work on your confidence and of course your competence. And I think they go hand in hand. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much. I've definitely worked on my confidence and my competence. So thank you. Ellie. You're very welcome. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I'll see you around. Okay. All right, you made it to the end of the field trip. I hope you guys had just as much fun as I did. This is STEM. This is Boston Scientific. We hope that you guys enjoyed yourself. And remember, not all heroes wear capes, but they do wear lab coats. <laughs> Woo.